Sai here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Ecotee's Yerba Mate, the green energy variety. And that means that this is just the leaf, the loose leaf, no stem. And I like this one because it is warm air dried as opposed to smoked. I believe that that is more healthful for you. It is probably one of my top Yerba Mates. It is the one that I definitely drink the most at this time. And it is organic, like all of the Yerba Mate that I would drink. And we're going to go ahead and give a quick demo of how I prepare my Yerba Mate, which might be different than what you've seen before. I think it's a very unique and good way to re prepare it. Let's go ahead and get started. So you can see here, I've got my tea. I've already kind of warmed up the tea water. We're going to go ahead and get it to a boil. And this is one quart of tea water. You can see I've already prepared some more water in the bottom of my quart glass, which is four glasses or 32 ounces. And we're going to be adding some of the Yerba Mate tea in the amount of four tablespoons to the jar. So we've got roughly a tablespoon per cup, per eight ounces. And so you can see I've mixed this into the water and that is recommended, but I do it because people say you shouldn't boil the water that you put on your mate. I do boil mine, but I counteract it with this already moistened leaf that is not boiled. And now that the water is heated up, we're gonna go ahead and pour it in here. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it in, and I'm gonna put a lid on it while I let it steep for a minimum of five minutes, but up to 10 minutes or more to really let that flavor all get into the water from the Yerba Mate. And we're gonna go ahead and come back and show you how I prepare it the rest of the way once it has sat for five to 10 minutes. So our tea has been steeping for about seven to eight minutes. I wanna just go ahead and show you up close. I put this in this bowl here so you can kinda of see what it looks like. This is the green loose leaf Yerba Mate. It's not a fine cut, but it's definitely more fine than many cuts. Now for the final step, I think makes it really good. Just gonna go ahead and mix this in one more time. And this is obviously gonna be very hot, but I'm gonna pour it through this tea strainer, which I think is one of the best ways to make it because it completely gets all of the leaf out of your tea. And there you can see it, no leaf left in the tea, just like that. And how I personally like to drink it is either straight just by itself or add some heavy whipped cream to it like this. And that tastes really good. So thank you so much for watching my review of the Eco Teas Yerba Mate. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and share this video. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time.